Caitlin Clark and Ijanai Carrington have come out to address foul play and possible suspension of Carrington for poking Clark's eye during their first WNBA playoff game. The Fever, particularly rookie sensation Caitlin Clark, struggled offensively throughout the game. Clark, who had a historic rookie season, managed only 11 points on 4 of 17 shooting, including a dismal 2 of 13 from 3-point range. While Clark's performance could have simply been an off night, many fans believe her shooting woes were a result of a first-quarter incident involving Connecticut's D. Jonai Carrington. Carrington appeared to poke Clark in the eye, leaving her with a black eye and forcing her to spend several seconds on the ground. A viral video of the play, which has garnered over 1.2 million views on X, sparked debate over whether the act was intentional. Social media users shared their thoughts, with one post reading, replay on Carrington's eye poke to Caitlin Clark. Looks intentional to me. Media figure Jason Whitlock further fueled the conversation, calling for Carrington's suspension and asserting, Carrington should be suspended, criticizing the lack of attention from ESPN and the WNBA. However, both players addressed the incident during Tuesday's media availability. Clark dismissed the idea that Carrington intended to hit her, stating, it wasn't intentional by any means. Carrington echoed this, explaining that she was trying to make a play on the ball and was unaware that she hit Clark. With no foul called during the game, it is unlikely the WNBA will take any action. Clark's ability to brush off the incident and focus on Game 2 is crucial for the Fever, as they face elimination in the best-of-three series. Clark, despite the injury, assured fans that her eye isn't bothering her, which is a relief for Indiana supporters as they hope she can regain her form. Although Clark's playoff debut wasn't her best, her teammates Kelsey Mitchell and Aaliyah Boston put in strong performances, scoring 21 and 17 points, respectively. If Clark can elevate her game, the Fever have a real shot at forcing a Game 3. The critical Game 2 is set for Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time.